surrounded by of family. <laughs> they watched solemnly as an assassin came in and buried a knife in his heart. And it everyone agreed it was the right time for that to happen. Last night, we received a missive uh, telling of his success. But before we could extract him, a, a thick fog set in over Rockport, uh, which prevented us from... Uh, sending a, a, a sphere to collect him and the relic. Um, however, there is a commuter train that operates out of Rockport uh, that runs from Rockport uh, through the, uh, the teeth, the mountain range that separates uh, the continent below, uh, and ends in Neverwinter where uh, we could more safely and discreetly extract him. Uh, he managed to Secure passage on this train, uh, loaded his cargo onto the train, but before it could depart, uh, he was murdered, uh, which is leaving us in quite a sticky situation. Mm. Do we know anything about the murderer or how it actually like went down? We know nothing. We haven't been able to get into contact with the authorities, and even if we could, there's not much information we could tell them. It could, it could lead to... Uh, I don't know. It could it could lead to a, a very difficult situation for us. We can't explain what he was doing there, why he was murdered. Uh, we don't even know why he was murdered because ostensibly nobody would know about the Grand Relic unless they were in the, the Bureau of Balance. There, there's we, a lot. We have a lot of unknowns. Do we know the status of the Relic right now? It's on the train as far as we know. Um, and that is where the three of you come in. We will need one of you. Uh, it's up to you to decide whom. Tibbs! Uh, okay, that was... <laughs> we will need Dibs. one of you to impersonate Lehman. Double dibs. Lehman Kessler. Uh, I have secured two other tickets uh, on, on the train, so all three of you can board, but one of you will need to be Lehman Kessler. Uh, you will need to retrieve the relic and get it back to us uh, any way that you can. What, can what did you Lehman look about? like? Yeah, what, what race was he? Uh, Lehman was a half-elf. Uh, man, okay. and uh, but but he, it, there's no guarantee that the uh, the operators of the Rockport Limited uh, even know what he looked like. He could have secured his 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 ticket uh, in advance. Uh, so so it's up to you. It's I, it, I any one of you can be Lehman. Whoever has the, I guess the most panache, the most flair for the the highest dramatic, performance skill, whatever it takes. Um, We'll need you to. We'll need you to make believe, make pretend, like a couple of actors, or actually, just one actor. I'm actually negative one there, so I'm gonna dip a rooster. <laughs> <laughs> what will the other two be doing? Uh, the other two will be ensuring that the new Lehman Kessler, the fresh off the block Lehman Kessler, uh, isn't murdered, uh, because obviously someone's going around murdering Lehman Kesslers. Uh, this this will be also a security job. Well, I got a I got a plus one. <clears throat> you don't have to figure who it out right bringing, now. Who are you bringing with you? <laughs> well, if, if, if I need a body, if somebody needs a bodyguard, I say I I'll be Lehman, and that way our best fighter is able to protect me, and our best magician is able to protect me. Oh, as opposed funny. to all of our other magicians. Okay. Well, let's listen. That's semantics. <laughs> Uh, uh, what can you best. tell us about the artifact? Uh, we don't know. We we can't sort. Of, we we what know that he shit? collected. Well, we know he collected an artifact. But if that missive had been intercepted in the air, we with that information, that incredibly valuable and dangerous information, could have fallen into enemy hands. So we purposefully keep it vague. Well, great. Let's do are it. Are you going to fire us out of the cannon? We absolutely are going to fire you out of the cannon. Yay! Yay! Uh, One more question before we go. How do the gauntlets work? The what now? The gauntlets, the bracers. Our bracers. Oh, you the just bracers. point and click, baby. Windows 98. Okay, cool. Where's Killian? Is she going to come with? I'd feel better if she were there. Killian... Killian is a regulator. She she cannot go with you on a reclaiming mission. Well, can is we it, signal for her if we get in trouble? You, the only way you will signal for her is if you find the artifact and use and it. And keep it. And right? then she that will, be... that signal, yes, will sound off, and then she will come, but not for hang time, 
She will kill all of you. You are getting a little obvious there, Maggie. What? Listen, she's yeah, a fan what? favorite. I'm trying to reintroduce her to the story. Yeah, let's get, I guess let's get Johan and Clark in the mix, too, huh? As yeah, I want to keep I want to keep the people. Can we bring Billy Blue Jeans back? Very Blue Jeans. It was Barry Blue Jeans. His brother Billy oh. Blue Jeans is in Neverwinter. Oh, we how, met Billy, too. How quickly you forget, huh? Well, Barry must have made a real impact on you. <laughs> All right, let's go change clothes. Magnus has already changed. Uh, how did you already change? I, I started changing when you started telling your story about murdering somebody or you something. You got your dick out and your whole <laughs> naked body out while she yeah. was talking to you? Yeah, Brody. but you nobody need to tell me these th- You need to tell me these things while it's I literally in real said time. Magnus starts changing. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. You're very. You, that was we a thought successful... you had the change of life. Yeah, that was a, yeah I thought you were pupating. Um, <laughs> Magnus starts changing his opinions about politics. <laughs> okay, you you run back to your uh, your dormitory. Robbie's there. Is like, what's up? Are you all going on a secret <laughs> mission? <laughs> hey, do you have any disguise potions? Oh, no, that's a good I question. Got a rusted root CD. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. Um, Perfect. Let me see disguise Dip- potions. I'm going to be sent on my way <laughs> on this adventure. No, my potions on. aren't necessarily um, useful. No, yeah, they're, yeah, they're not utilitarian in nature. They, I mean, unless the utility you want is to get real fucked up, he says. I'll take one. Oh, well, okay, I can't just keep giving you guys these. these I'll, I'll bring you back a rusted hey. CD. If you guys actually bring me back a rusted root, I can throw it in mortar and pestle and whip up a kind of potion that has never been invented yet. All right. We'll do it. Um, okay, the three of you report to the hangar. Um, it's, uh, there's not a lot of people out walking around the campus. Obviously, most people are sleeping. Uh, not everybody's been assigned a secret 3 a.m. mission. Uh, the, at the hangar, there's... Uh, so you're only- saying like the line security is pretty light? Yeah, yeah, you make it through TSA like pretty quickly. Um, uh, did it, we stop? The, we stop at the at the Hudson News. Magnus, actually, the TSA wants to know about the super fuck up po- the the hair of the dog potion that you have because it's over two ounces. Oh, uh, drink it! You're gonna have to slam that right now. They say no. Yep, sorry. Yep, you yeah, can either too. slam it right now or throw it away. But I don't want to be fucked up in the cannon. Slam it. Back up. It, it may be better that there. way. Yeah. Okay, people... Magnus slams it. Okay, yeah. you immediately. Oh, gross. We just had to talk Magnus into something. <laughs> <laughs> um, you immediately uh, forget like how to speak well. Uh, you're you you are uh, you will suffer a penalty to any wisdom checks until uh, we'll say disadvantage to any wisdom checks until this thing wears off. Um, but you're real chill. You're you're super duper chill, um, and you're real happy about it. Uh, Ditto, is this the first night that we are there? Like, no, no sorry, I should have. I, yeah, I should have set up the timeline. It's been about it's been about uh, three weeks since you've been there. Okay. Things have been pretty quiet. There just hasn't been a whole lot of new intel coming in, uh, and this is the first mission that you guys have really been. Have we done assigned. any sort of like learning? Like in the three weeks you've been here, have we have we learned anything about? The relics or the nature of this organization or anything that we've picked up of use? That's actually a good question. Um, so, yeah, what you've learned, you've learned a little bit about the relics. The, the, there's not a whole lot that is, like, concrete information about the relics because uh, it, it just by nature of the fact that they were never in the possession of one entity for long enough for that information to be, you know, especially trustworthy. Um Maybe there were a lot of misinformation campaigns spread during the the conflict where people were trying to hunt these down uh, to get people off of the scent. So there's not a lot that you know for sure. Um, well, one thing that you do know is that each of the seven relics uh, belongs to a different school of magic. So the uh, the gauntlet that you found, which can summon huge bouts of flame and, uh, you know, was was mainly based around destruction was mm-hmm. uh from the evocation school of magic so that one's right. dealt with uh you don't have to deal with that one but uh yeah each each uh of the relics belongs to a different school of magic so uh there's alteration alteration illusion, illusion necromancy uh, accounting accounting um hufflepuff 
Mm-hmm. So, like, there's a lot. Uh, air, uh, heat, heat and air repair. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, um, so, yeah, there's... Um, Medical database entry. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can think of a couple others. Give me some time. That's actually a Bureau of Balance Tech. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. at the technical at the, com- the, the two year Bureau of Balance, <laughs> Bureau of Balance <laughs> Community College Technical Institute. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's about all the the information you've gained. It's been kind of boring. You, you just haven't had like a lot to do. You've done some training, keeping your bodies right. Um, but get any levels or anything? No, I gave you two. Levels we gained in the last six episode. levels. No, We're now level ten. We can't spend more of an entire episode just leveling you guys up. So, um, it was it was a smash hit though. Everybody people really love people, people love people, leveling up. Yeah, people love uh, mechanics. Uh, there's only one guard standing watch uh, at the hangar, the night shift, the graveyard shift, uh, and it's your old pal Avi, who uh, gave you the brandy when you first arrived here. Avi, Avi, he's like, hey guys, what's Avi, up? Avi, I'm real fucked up. Oh, dang! What what happened to this guy? <laughs> Oh, hair of the dog that bit him. <clears throat> you're not really supposed to, like, get on one of these if you're... I mean, I won't tell. I'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> you, kind of, you kind of sound like uh, some kind of wolf, it's man. It's totally cool, dude. Why are you... Why is it whisper time? Though? Okay. Uh, do you guys... Avi, Avi, Avi. Yeah? Avi. You're great. Thank you. Yes, thank you. You're That's his like, best friend. I think you guys are pretty... I, I think you're... Cool dude. Yeah. <laughs> Avi. Yeah. Do you want to go on a mission? I can't. I'm not. I can't. It's my okay, job. Okay, we'll meet you down there. I well, I won't be able to. Avi, be cool yeah. for two seconds. I think I'm being Just, pretty cool. Avi. Yeah. Shh, 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 shh. Be cool for two seconds. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you down there. I won't. Don't. Shh. Avi, it's a secret mission. We'll see you down there. Wink. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> You're Sorry, a cool table dude. Clarification: Did he just w- wink or say wink out loud? Both. <laughs> um. Oh. <laughs> That's, He'll be okay. Um, we got him. We got him. It we seems 